Hey guys, welcome to my art studio. Today, I just wanted to show you some things as I create in hopes of inspiring you to get creative. I got a tip from watching someone else uh, in their art studio and one of the things they said is, you know, it's really cool to have like an art journal. So that's what this is where I have literally just taken some time and just done some different colors to see get familiar with colors since I'm not you know I want to know kinda like what works well together etc and sometimes you just don't know until you just get in there and try it the other thing I do is I write on the back of my paper what color it was and where it's from so that when my you know when I run out or when I want to go back to it I can always look on the back of my page and then know what I need to buy so um, today what I'm going to be creating is uh, more of like a beachy theme uh, art piece and using different colors I got it different craft stores um, so today I'm just basically going to be working with blue so I have different shades of blue here and I'm um, just trying to see you know what blue I like and what blues work well together now this is going to be a mixed media because I'm going to use different things um, as I go but I'm going to be using a sponge for this particular art piece and so as you see I just squirted some different paint different colors and I'm just gonna kinda fill the color as I go and I want to do layers of color so I started on the last one I did going up down and I think I'm gonna continue that so just using my sponge as you see just working across my paper and again you know it does truly when you're in your art journal it does not have to be perfect you just kinda get in a feel as to what you like you know what inspires you what works good together what doesn't by the way I love this pearl blue this pearl blue ah uh, I love metallics metallic and just really have a lot of fun with it again it's all about having fun and I know sometimes when I'm like in the middle of a real art project per se I get a little tense because I just don't want to mess up what I'm doing but that's why it's best to have an art journal page or book so you can just have fun and just be free and just know what works and what doesn't work etc so as you see here, I have the background ready, ready to go. The background is ready and um, again what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to use this stencil and I know it looks pretty used and it is. And This is a lighthouse stencil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it down there and then I'm going to use a, another small sponge and um, got to pick a color that I think that I would really really like to do this in and I think that I'm going to do it in um, hmm, gonna use the dark blue gonna use the dark blue as you see of course I could have used any any blue but um, I'm just gonna dab I'm just gonna dab around it as you see not going too too heavy or too dark because again it's already was already painted. I just want to un do enough to get the figure, um, get the stencil, so that you can see the stencil really good. Okay, so, and I chose a lighthouse because when I think of a lighthouse, I think of Christ and Him giving light to the world. Look at that. I love that. I'm, I'm so glad I did choose the dark because it really helped to give the effect that I was going after which was to shine through uh, because truly Christ uh, 
gives light to our lives when we accept him into our lives and that's what I um, I'm experiencing here and even as I look at this I just see him just giving light to us in the midst of in the midst of the storms in the midst of our trials in the midst of darkness in the midst of confusion it's the Heavenly Father who truly just gives us the light the light so in this particular painting that's what I wanted to display I wanted to display the 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 life the life and if I really knew how to do some really good waves yes I would do that as well but I'm not gonna even front I uh, yeah I'm not uh, that artistic when it comes to to that portion but um I could do like something of this effect just to kind of make it appear that there is waves and actually I like that I think that's a pretty cool suggestion my husband gave that to me by the way um, yeah I like that I actually like that 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 yeah I really really like that I think that was very very creative um, and so now what I'll do basically this picture is like almost done because it's really um, inspiring me just by looking at it and that's what you want you want to create and design things that inspire you because nine times out of ten if it inspires you it should inspire others but most importantly if it's for you you want to do it to inspire you so let me turn it this way so you can see it um, that may give you a better a better view of it I'm not sure because can't see behind me but um, sometimes what I, I'll do as well is I'll use um, different uh, fabric paints I like to use different fabric paints and as you see here I, I love to just collect that's the other thing when you go to the art store buy up things especially when it's on sale and even if you don't know how you're going to use it it's okay <laughs> most of this stuff I purchased I had no clue no clue how to use or when I was going to use it but gratefully in time um, I now am finally using it and I think the greatest thing that I've been happy about is that I have it available so I'm going to write a little caption here that says um, you light up my life and turn it this way so you can see it you light up my life and as I was telling you I am truly referring to Christ and I say that because um, for many many reasons but um, you know even even art and design um, I never ever had a clue that this was something that I even enjoyed to do until I came into a relationship with Christ and then the Lord started to show me who I was in him and and this is one of them and um man I have just been so blessed so you see how that dimension this 3d fabric paint I don't even use it for fabric most of the times I use it for my artwork I love the bubbling effect I love the the texture effect you know that it gives but um you know again it's all about being inspired it's all about having fun it's all about creating things that that brighten you and make you feel feel good and um, yeah that's it so thanks so much for taking the time and and watching I hope you uh, like and subscribe and see you next time